Response Project, where every project matters. And that is your news to 637 this morning. Well, ever since the recession hit a few years ago, for many, job security has been a crucial element when finding employment. But what jobs will still be thriving in the next dozen or so <laughs> years? Well, a new joint report from Deloitte and the Human Resources Professionals Association charts what careers in Canada will be in demand in 2025. So we thought we'd run through for you some of the jobs that are hot, some that are not in the coming <laughs> decade. Uh, this is good news. One of the hot jobs, of course, the hot industries will be in mining and oil and gas extraction. There Great you go. For one of Alberta's resources. This industry will likely lead all others when it comes to growth, especially as technology continues to find new ways to extract oil and gas particularly right here in Alberta. Yeah, utilities, also like mining and oil, the industry will be red hot through about 2025, although it only composes a fraction of the jobs here at Calgary. But in the coming future, there will be lots of jobs for those highly trained utilities workers. Okay, health care and social assistance. This is interesting. A lot of baby boomers are in need of health care. So uh, the numbers back it up. In 2010, there were 22 retirees for every 100 workers. So by 2025, that figure will skyrocket to 44. So it will double for 100 workers, so uh, that's a great industry to enter into, healthcare and social assistance. Yeah, especially as we're booming, like you said. Agriculture, forestry, fisheries will also be doing pretty well on the cold side. Yeah. So those are the hot side jobs. On the cold side, construction, mm -hmm. finance, and insurance, apparently, in 12 years from now or so, manufacturing. Yeah, retail's uh, a bit of a tricky one yeah, because uh, the market changes quite a bit, but uh, predicting a downturn by 2025, because the industry only counts for 12% of national employment. I was looking for broadcasting on here, Ted. I don't see it on the I didn't side see it either. or on the cold side, but hopefully. Maybe there's always a perpetual demand for broadcasters. I think there's a and perpetual demand for information. Yeah, I think, I mean, I mean, our job has changed. Like when I first entered the industry, the internet, what is that? And now, I mean, it's oh. obviously so prevalent. Isn't that hilarious? I mean, it's what did you man. use? The phone book? Oh, I used the phone book as a reporter. The typewriter? Seriously, if you're trying to track somebody down, you would photocopy the page that had the last name, yeah. and you would start cold calling. Hilarious. I'm actually I'm yeah. making fun, but when I started in the industry, we have all these robotics now, and I actually used to be a production assistant back in the day when we used scripts on paper and back-timed by doing it on our heads, and now they have computers to do that. Yeah, now we have Not computers. the case anymore. <laughs> that wasn't that long ago. There you go. <laughs> Still ahead, you're going to be doing an election recap? Yeah, we're going to be chatting with uh, Heather Gilbertson. She's been all over the election for us. She's been covering like the hot 